So recently at the PGA show, I was lucky enough to attend uh, a presentation by Dr. Greg Rose from TPI, which is the Titleist Performance Institute. And he gave a presentation on how you can generate more speed uh, with your students. So what I've done here at Bishopsgate is I've implemented uh, one of the training protocols that they use to increase speed, which is a throwing protocol, which is where you use, um, it comes from baseball. So it's the, the Tom House uh, baseball throwing protocol. Uh, and Tom House was a gentleman that was injured uh, as a baseball pitcher and he used this method to get back into uh, peak fitness to be able to throw at um, full, full capacity or full speed. And what he found by doing these protocols is that he was able to increase his speed and get more speed out of his arm than he ever used to before he was injured. So what it entails is that you have uh, different weighted balls. So you start off with a two pound ball, a one pound ball, and then you go to a six ounce baseball, five ounce, which is the normal weight of a, a baseball, four ounces, two ounces, and then you just have a towel. And you start off on your knees, you do it over six weeks. Uh, you start off on your knees and you throw the ball into a net, but what you do is you do it five times. The first three times is that you actually throw it, but you don't let go of the ball and then the last two times you throw the ball into the net. You do it right-handed and left-handed, and then you go into the next six weeks, which is you go from your knees to a standing position, and then after that six weeks, you go into an actual where you're stepping back, stepping forward, and you've got some motion with the throw as well. Uh, and through Dr. Greg Rose's research, he's found that doing these throw to throwing protocols really increases the speed of not only the uh, ball speed but also helps with the club head speed of, of students as well. So what I've done here at Bishopsgate, I've, I've implemented it so far the first six weeks. Uh, so we've only been able to do six weeks on the knees so far and I've seen some great results already. Uh, we've got uh, students that are up to now, you know, they were maybe on 115 miles an hour club head speed before and they're getting up to 119. Uh, and the other interesting thing that fact that we found is that some of them maybe their club head speed is the same, but the ball speed is actually coming out faster. So I haven't worked that one out yet, um, but I'd love to maybe speak with Dr. Rigoros to to ask his opinion on it. Uh, but we're getting some great results, not only as I said in the club head speed, but the ball speed in particular.